reports that North Korea insisted the Trump administration sign a bill for $2 million to cover the costs of University of Virginia student Otto Warmbier's incarceration, which led to his brutal death in a North Korean prison, was first reported by The Washington Post. Fox News confirmed that such an invoice was signed. The president insisted, as you just showed uh, today, that no money was paid. Warmbier was returned to the U.S. in a vegetative state and eventually died. His family says he was tortured by the North Korean regime. North Korea's leader, meanwhile, Kim Jong-un, boarded his private train Friday and headed back to Pyongyang from Russia after directing some harsh criticism at Washington during his first summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin, saying the U.S. negotiated in bad faith when he met with President Trump in Hanoi two months ago. Kim left about four and a half hours earlier than planned, Russian news agencies reported. It was not immediately known why he decided to return from Vladivostok early. Putin indicated he may be interested in playing a bigger role in breaking North Korea's standoff with Washington. The Russian president left for a two-day meeting in Beijing to brief Chinese leaders. A lot of progress is being made. I appreciated President Putin's statement yesterday. He wants to see it done also. I think there's a lot of excitement toward getting a deal done with North Korea. In the meantime, when I came here, there were nuclear tests, missile tests, rocket tests. We got our hostages back. We got remains back. Following their talks on Thursday, Putin said Kim is willing to give up nuclear weapons, but only if he gets ironclad security guarantees supported by a multinational agreement. It is clear that Vladimir Putin is trying to insert himself into the stalled negotiations between the White House and Kim Jong-un after the summit between the two leaders in Hanoi failed to achieve any progress.